I was involved from the very beginning. So I was on one of the initial committees that was looking at, um, that actually came from a really wonderful place of the district and the teachers and everyone coming together to say that our process for evaluation is not one of professional growth. It's not one that's really supportive of teachers and the conversations sometimes feel like they're a little awkward and not really leading to learning and leading to change in a classroom. So there was a committee that formed for a number of different reasons, but a large one was that, was looking at how do we make the process of evaluation and the collaborative work with teachers and principals be something that really benefits instruction and really benefits students in the classroom. So I love where we started from and that same philosophy that's been throughout, which is looking at the evaluation process as something that really is about how do we make sure that the best possible teaching is happening in the classroom and that it's a collaborative process that it's not a done unto but that teaching is not a one-off thing it's a very complex difficult thing so using as many tools as we possibly can um, an instructional framework to, f to base that work on is really essential and that together teachers and principals we can work through thinking about how we best support the teacher the feedback that they need what I can do as a principal to make sure that they're getting everything that they need in a classroom to further their professional growth so what I love about what we've done in Bellevue is that that collaborative approach and that um, commitment to the classroom has been consistent with everybody involved directly in the project and as it's gone out with teachers and principals across buildings that we're all in this to make sure that we're doing the best job possible and doing best practice every day. And that philosophy has driven how we think about our professional development, how we work with each other, how principals engage with each other, how we talk with teachers in classrooms every day, and how we look at, what the, at student work. Um, it's always been around how are we making sure that we're doing best practice and how do we support each other to success for the benefit of students. Philosophically, we really believe the PD should be closest to point of implementation. So for us from a district level to be trying to deliver the PD um, initially made sense because we had to ensure there was a common foundation and knowledge. Um, but soon after, we have amazing leaders in our building that could take and run with it. And we just ensured that the message was common. How you went about it, similar to when you're implementing lessons in the classroom, might look different based on your community and your school. But that was pretty significant. I think the other piece this year, having our new TPEP coordinator that's been huge, has been um, the collaborative process with instructional leaders in developing modules. So we have these scaffolded modules, depending on where your baseline is. If you're a brand new person coming in, this is some foundational information and um, PD. And if you're a veteran and you're working on student growth and you're in a PLC and doing that collaborative process, Here's a module that might fit for that. And then you tweak it to fit your needs. And we have a whole series of modules that have been a, um, really, uh, from my perspective, highly successful. I think the first initial trainings that we did when we were first, the first year of the pilot, we, we wanted to train everybody on the frameworks exactly the same and so that everybody came in with a broad understanding of what it was. So we ran marathon workshops um, for groups of teachers from schools and they were with their staff and they were with their administrator in some points because some of the administrators didn't know anything more than they did. And it gave them a chance to learn it and discuss the frameworks and really talk together about those pieces. Um, and I think that jump started us into this culture of this is a process where within the schools, within our teams, within our grade levels, we have to talk to each other, uh, which again is something very, very different from our old evaluative system. Uh, so building that culture from the start, I think, was important. I think one of the great things, and I'll say this for teachers, and I'll say it for myself as a principal, that using an instructional framework takes some of the guesswork out. That, you know, I spent years as a teacher and years as a principal thinking, I'm not entirely sure I know what my job is, and I'm not entirely sure that I know what it looks like when I'm doing it well. So I'll read a bunch of books, I'll look at a bunch of different things, but I don't really know what my target is. And that leads to a lot of fear where you think, I don't know if I'm doing my job well. So to open up to someone else and say, here's what I'm doing, is really kind of scary because they're going to go, oh my gosh, you did that. So to have a framework and to have some guidance, what I see in teachers and what I see in myself is we can say, we're working on 3B or I'm working on uh, instructional capacity. And I can say, I can sit down with someone and we can talk about something and guide our practice and guide our learning based on what best practice is, based on an instructional framework, based on research. So what I see with teachers in collaboration is um, and with principals collaborating with teachers and principals collaborating with each other is that we have a, a definition of a common goal. So again, we can 
share each other's practice. So what I'll see in my building is when people are sitting in a room and they're uploading artifacts, instead of it being something secret where you're saying, here's something I want someone to look at, a teacher will turn to another teacher and say, hey, this is what I'm uploading for my artifact. What do you think about this as a, as a piece of parent communication? Can you give me some feedback on what I could have done better? Um, does this really meet the rubric? Or if I want to go for distinguished, or if I want to add in a few more components, what do you think about this idea? And the fear of, did I even begin to do this right, is gone. That we're talking about something that we can be objective, we can be supportive, and we can be collaborative about. So that's been really helpful in looking at teacher leadership, is that it takes away the fear of um, right or wrong, and it puts things on a continuum where a teacher can think, where do I want to grow and challenge themselves in that way? And how can I help my peers do that as well? My name is Grace Cadillo, and I teach French at International School, um, upper level French classes. So. And how long have you been a teacher? This is my first official full year. So I've been working with um, an instructional mentor, and she basically, whenever I need anything, I can write her, I can call her. Um, we've set up many meetings of just like, is this how it's supposed to be done? I don't really understand. Um, and she's always been uh, very knowledgeable in how to answer the questions, which has been amazingly helpful. <laughs> so it was a lot of self-reflection, which was really useful uh, for me uh, just to grow per uh, professionally. But then um, it helped me lay out things that I would do instinctively, but not necessarily take the time to graph out. So for example, student growth goals, um, I recorded scores that I would normally record, but not on such a regular basis. And so I was able to evaluate from the beginning to the end, like what difference it made. And that was huge, so. I mean, in our district, we are passionate about each and every child meeting and or exceeding standard. And so my goal is that in three years, we accomplish that goal in each and every child based on the professional development and the growth of the teachers. They're the closest to the child um, meet and or exceed standard. So it has the direct benefit to the child and their learning. One of the things that I think has been really wonderful about this is that the, the conversation about practice has gone from feeling like it's sub something that's very subjective and it feels like in the old form of evaluation, I felt like I was essentially writing an essay that I would hand to somebody and they would say, oh, I got a B, great, thanks. That it didn't really impact their practice, that the conversation has shifted from something that feels like it was not impactful and it was perhaps a nice interaction or maybe a more difficult interaction to one that's a constructive interaction. And I think it, it helps people look at practice in a professional way. For me as a principal, in my own evaluation and working with teachers on their evaluation, that we're able to say, this is what good work looks like, here are the specific things I need to do to reach there, or here are the specific things I can do to help you reach there as well.